What up, VPs? Welcome back to the channel, Sons of Anarchy, Season 4, Episode Number. What are we on? 11! Holy shit! And that's the recap of last episode going into this episode because the season's been nuts. You ready? Yeah. I'm just yeah. kidding. Oh. <laughs> there's just <laughs> there's just so much going on and Clay, I feel like I mean there's a lot of big storylines, but I feel like what Clay is doing right now We've lost and, him. And what we've been building to with him this whole season. Another level. It's just on a whole nother level and He's a desperate, desperate man. He has turned into such a scary, scary per like he's always been scary, but, but the way like he a... just beat up Gemma. Oh my and the God, that's like, so gross. the way that he was able just to pull the trigger on Piney, ordering the hit on Terra, like the stuff that's gone down this season with him is just insane, and he has turned into just an absolute vile monster of a dude, and it's been awesome because he's a great villain. He's not fantastic. a man; he's a monster. He is a fantastic villain, and I am horrified for anyone to even come close to him, come near him, interfere with anything this dude's got going on. He is going to take you out, and it's probably not going to be done slowly and easily. It's probably going to be painful, and oh it's going to suck God. because he doesn't care. That whole episode, Gemma, Tara, poor Tara, poor Gemma, and those kids. Yeah. Those kids watched mommy. Be kidnapped yep. and her screaming in fear. Yeah. I mean, just the whole situation with him now. What what happens? Because obviously the episode ends and Unser's there to help Gemma. And Gemma's like, oh, or Unser's like, I'm going to turn this. I'm going to make Piney's death look like it was him. I mean, you don't have to make it look like it was it him. Was. It was him. Yeah. But like he's going to point it to them. And Gemma's like, no, it has to be done by a son. And it's, what is Gemma going to do with this information now? Is she going to go straight to Jax and be like, hey, Clay did this. Oh, by the way, he's also responsible for your dad's murder. Oh, by the way, by the way, by the way. And just start listing the stuff. I, and just but I feel like that there. would ruin Jax's life because then he would be, you know, trying to murder another person instead of like. I mean, he's killed people before. No, I. I <laughs> duh. But like, this would ruin his emotional, mental, just every state of being. That Jax is would yeah. be completely destroyed. I just the, how do you come back from knowing all that info? The I thought the, the season with Zobel and what happened to Gemma and him finding out that like I thought that was really bad. Yeah, Jax finding out this between his dad and Tara. I don't like, think you're coming back from yeah, that. I just I don't know where and how this handled the fact that she says that he's going to die by the hand of a son. She's going to tell him. I feel like she has to do that. Well, okay, but, so we don't know if she means the son or a son. Well, like we had this discussion at the end of the last episode. I brought up the idea of Opie because, again, Ope, they should do it together. But Gemma's talking about her kid, clearly. Like, it's obvious. Like, she was talking about Jax. Well, I mean, but she's also talking about the sons, I feel like. The sons, it can't be authority. It can't be police officers coming no. in. It can't be anyone else yeah. being involved. It has to be a son. And, I mean, it has a double meaning because they're the sons of anarchy and, like, Jax is viewed as his son. Like, it's it's connected. And I, know, I think she's definitely talking about him. was the hand of a son. Yeah, I, I think she's definitely talking about Jax, even though I presented no. the idea that it could yeah. be Opie. But, I mean, Opie's going to go find his dad. He's going to go to the cabin and find his dad there dead. Yeah. And... By the way, the fact that no one has gone up there yet... I mean, obviously, I mean, they got a lot Unser of shit and on. Gemma, but, like, nobody's gone yeah. to check on Piney. They're kind of busy with, like, cartel shit and, like, shootouts and drive-bys and all kinds of crazy shit. So, I mean, they're preoccupied, but I think he's going to go now. And, yeah, I just... <laughs> I don't know what what is what is Opie going to do when he finds his dad murdered. I mean, the fact that he lost his wife and now he's lost his dad. It's just this dude's going to blow a gasket if he hasn't already and just lose his shit. And I just well, he's lost I, both wives. Now. I mean, not well, like, she's gone. Yeah, we don't know where she's not dead. She's yeah, just gone. We don't but. know where where that future looks like. But I mean, what is going to happen to the club ever since this whole cartel vote went down? Things have gone so downhill. Things have been so intense. Everything is just on a different level with the club now because they're in something that is way bigger and badder than even what they're capable of doing. 
And Agreed. It's not something that you just get out of. We still have this Bobby vote looming. I don't know if that's ever going to happen. If if it gets found out by the club that he beat the shit out of Gemma, and the reason that all happened is that she was able to figure out that he put out a hit on Tara and the f- they killed Piney and killed Piney, and maybe even they bring up the idea of John. Because, I mean, the John Teller storyline has been a big one. It's lasted a long time. Mm -hmm. It's been a very deep and slow burn. And if that gets revealed to the club, I'm actually quite curious what the business aspect of the club is in terms of handling that. I like, do you, you don't have a vote at that. Like, there's no vote. Mm -hmm. Like, you're just done. Like, you're out. You're probably killed. You're taken to the back. Yeah. Like, when you find out all that stuff is revealed, it's obviously business. And it's not personal. You. They probably give you to happy. I mean, probably. That would make happy very happy. But <laughs> under these circumstances, it is personal and it's also business. Yeah. Because he's having well, members. And you're fucking with everybody's business. Right. That has be that like their families, everything. Like it's so much bigger than any of this. Yeah, it's business and personal at this point. And how it gets handled, I am nervous because again. I feel like Clay's going to be on edge, and I feel like he's going to be prepared, especially after, like, beating up Gemma. Uh, He's not going to just sit back and be relaxed now, and he has not been subtle about anything. Like, taking the money and ordering the hit and just getting everything done. Like, he he hasn't been trying to cover his tracks at all. And this dude has no fear. He has no shame. He feels like he can just walk on water. Like, he's untouchable. Mm -hmm. And... I think he's going to be pretty on edge, and he should be, yeah. because this is a really big deal. And but yeah, the, the I desperation. Just, oh yeah, is it, you can see it for miles. Yeah, he's like a, he's like he's got his back in the corner, and he's got no other options than to go forward and attack and be aggressive. And he's doing everything he can to get what he needs done. I just. What do you so sick. do? You have a quick prediction of what happens. Do you think somebody's got to find out? Do you think he? Do you think he dies soon? You think I he dies this hope season? so. Honestly, I don't like to say that. And stuff. Do you think it's Jax? You think Jax kills him? I'm worried about Jax doing that because yeah. I worry that it would ruin him. I just so, worry that Clay might be in a position of counterattack. Yeah, and it just anyone who tries to go after him, I'm just concerned about yeah, yeah. what might happen. But, yeah. Well, I mean, I'm I'm just hoping that a son takes care of it whether it be i don't again i don't want it to be jacks because of the mental stuff like that's a lot yeah, like, i he's, mean he's it'll be him it'll be ope it'll be one of those two bobby? i think i don't think it'll be bobby bobby and but, auto situation the i mean fuck? so the auto stuff is big obviously the whole juice situation is big and we've got Potter who's working this Rico case and trying to get old and new and just trying to pin them right now. And they've got cartel issues. they got a lot of problems. I feel bad because, for Juice. I mean, Juice is in a terrible spot. I mean, Bobby's in a terrible spot. Otto is in, I mean, the, the fact That's that this so dude just up. keeps going through what he's going through and finding out things like this, it's just, it's unimaginable. And, yeah, I just... I don't know where this is all going to go. Somehow every season manages to just compile the issues and the problem and the drama and makes things very uncomfortable and keeps you very on edge. And this season, I mean, recency bias obviously is a thing, but I feel like what's going on this season kind of takes the cake compared to the previous three to this oh my point. God, yes. Because just like the John Teller situation is just blown up and just it's trying to keep that quiet. Bigger. Dealing with the cartel is bigger than Zobel. And it's just, there's so much going on and they've got so many different things to navigate. And I just, we've got a handful of episodes left this season. And per usual, I have no idea which direction this shit's going to go in because there are so many different directions. It could, like, Clay could, like, kill everyone. Someone could get Clay. Nothing could happen. They could just talk and just figure it out, which I don't believe that's even close to remotely a possibility, but it's still a possibility. And, like, the cartel could cause crazy shit. The authorities could cause crazy shit. There's just so many different things that we could do here. And, I mean, I think it's all going to stem off of Opie finding Piney and what Gemma's reaction is to like she looked real bad like she got beat up real I'm, bad I'm so, medically worried about her too yeah I mean she said that there was nothing broken um, Jesus how do you know yeah and I mean just talking about Tara who 
essentially has lost her hand. So her career at this point, unless they figure out a solution to that, is over. And her and Jax had a really difficult... Like, Jax was, like, almost begging for her to, like, scream at her and blame him. And she just came to this realization, like, look, you can't leave Charming. I wanted to leave, but I'm with you. So now I'm stuck here with you. And then she ends up getting really emotional and yells and tells I him totally to go away. I totally understand so, her. Yeah, I, I get it. So it, it's definitely a tough spot. And where all... Like, there's so many different emotions going on. Like, Jax finding out about his mom now after what happened to Tara... It's just, that's that's too much for one person to handle. That's what I'm saying. It's too much. That's what I'm saying. It's just too much. So, you ready for this episode? Yes. I don't know if I am, but are you? Yeah. Let's go. Hey. Morning. Morning. Kind of lost it yesterday. I'm sorry. Don't be sorry. Nope. You have every reason to say all that. You stick. There is no plan anymore. No hospital wants me. I have to establish myself before I set up a practice that takes a lot of time. Could I have plenty of time? That sounds ominous when somebody says that. Your hand is gonna get better. We're getting out of Charming and I am leaving Sam Crow. It's just him continuously saying that he's leaving Sam Crow freaks me out. Yeah. I need you to believe I can do I do believe you, Jackson. I'm not sure I believe that she believes. No. Well, I mean, she's in a really dark place right now. How's the couch? Fine. Comfortable, actually. Thanks for staying. Of course. Finish what you started with Piney. Pointed at the cartel. It's about the club now. This landing on Clay is the last thing they need. Wait a few days before you call it in. Uh, Body's getting ripe. It's gonna crush Hope. Jack's too. He's got a lot on his plate right now. Uh, yeah. Just like every season of the show. <laughs> Word. I gotta borrow a few things from the garage. Tie it up. What are we gonna do about Clay? I'll handle it. Oh, shit. You think you know Clay better than anyone. And maybe you don't think he's capable of doing anything worse, but I'll tell you. No, I do. Clay would kill me. I got no doubt about that. Isn't that horrifying? That's awful. Like... But don't worry, sweetheart. I'm not gonna let that happen. I mean, she's a bad motherfucker, too. So... You will get into it with Gemma. Mm, just a little. You don't need to know. What? Do I need to know, Clay? Uh oh. Uh oh. I ain't gonna talk to you about my old lady. You don't want to talk about nothing no more. Ever since we got out, man. I mean, you cut me off. I got no idea what's going on with you. Surprised you and Fat Elvis, a couple of chicks. Oh my God. I'm the guy at your side. Steps between you and the shit that tries to kill you. I'm your right hand, Clay. Well, you want a pat on the back every time you climb on your diner? It don't work like that around here, pal. Dude. He's a fucking word. Come on. You know why you're losing this club? And because of the drugs. It's because you crawl in there and you shut those doors and you lock all of us out. He doesn't want to hear that shit. Mm -mm. He thinks he's full of shit. But good for Tig for like stepping up and saying that. What in God's name happened? Flew my broomstick into a brick wall. <laughs> shit. Oh, okay. Don't dismiss this. This is why Tara has to get out. Do you understand that? My son would never do this. I'm sure Clay's mother said the same thing about him. Oh, shit. You have no idea how much. Then don't stop them from leaving. Where are they going? I spoke with Providence Hospital this morning. They want to make Tara an offer. But her hand? They're willing to wait out her recuperation. Oh, good. Oh, good. This offer in Oregon may be her only chance of staying in neonatal. Hell yeah, good job. If you really love her, you will let her take this job, Gemma. And of course, there's Gemma getting information per usual. Yes. <laughs> so one thing I was just thinking about, I didn't get a chance to mention it because I didn't want to miss anything in the scenes. Yeah, yeah. What happens if Opie goes to the cabin while Unser's sitting here, like, staging the crime <laughs> scene? Like, what happens? Uh-uh. Oh. <laughs> Because that's the plan now, is to stage the scene and make it look like it was the cartel. Uh, which, 
Like, why the fuck would they go get Piney out in the cabin? Like, it doesn't make sense. I don't. But, like, what happens if Ope shows up while he's working on the scene? I don't even want to go there right now. <laughs> I feel bad for Unser. Yeah, he's always in a really tough spot. Shit. Come here. Oh, boy. What, what is she going to say? How is she going to spin this? Was this clay? It's complicated, Jackson. What happened? It's been building up. Shit with the drugs and the cartel. He's like shaking. I crossed the line. This is more than crossing a line, Mon. I can't let this slide. No. I'm gonna handle this, Jackson. <sighs> Please. You gotta let me settle it. Oh. My. God. I'm so sorry. Oh, honey, this is a near fault. I thought we could pull us off, but I was an idiot. I am as delusional as he is. No, you are a better man. Are you planning on leaving? Charming. I can't take any more lies, Jackson. Just tell her. Yeah. Does Clay know? Yeah. Don't take this to Tara, Mom. Please, oh, not no. now. I won't. Gemma's gonna Gemma, though. She's got some plan up her sleeve. That's about my sons. I don't miss this. This is so emotional. This is awesome. Like, I couldn't even imagine the amount of just anger, like, pain, just everything that Jax is feeling inside when he's, like... If I saw my mom look like that... Oh, shit. Like... It. I just couldn't imagine, like, what I would be feeling inside. Right. Tara? She said she was family. Oh, oh hey. Oh, my God. Holy shit. Sorry to barge in. I, I wasn't sure if you were going to be awake. What are you doing here? Running a program in your HR department. And I was looking for you in neonatal, and they said you were up here. Wow. I thought you were in Seattle. I just moved back two weeks ago. And I got a job at a recovery center in Lathrop. We do a lot of hospital and corporate stuff, so. Oh, good for you, Wendy. Yeah, honestly. Good for you. <laughs> See? Yep. <laughs> Can I ask what happened to you? I slammed my hand in a car door. Oh, shit. Sorry. I heard about your son. I'm happy for you and Jax. Thanks. Is she gonna... She's not gonna cause any issues for them, right? I hope not. I'm really not quite sure what to say here. I don't know what to say either. I've just been waiting for the right time to reach out. And you thought now would be that time. I don't want to cause any trouble. What is it you do want, Wendy? I want to see my son. Yikes. I'm his mother. I'm the one who raised him when you walked away. And I am grateful you were here to do that, but legally, I am still his mother. You gave up your rights. Not the right for him to know the truth. I shit. My number's on the card. Just tell Jax I'll be in touch. Oh, God. Like, we need to add this shit to Right? It. It's like, all you need to do a young kid is just, like, twist it. Like, his mom... Just had this crazy situation, and now you're gonna bring in his true mother, and it's like, ugh, as if as if Jax and Tara aren't dealing with enough. <gasps> oh my god! <sighs> Holy shit! As I was saying. As if they don't have enough, we're gonna bring Wendy back into the equation. Hey, Let's see you, bro. Hey, Tim, how's Tara doing? She's getting through it. Thanks. Give me a minute. Oh shit. Uh oh. Uh oh. I just saw my mom. And what do you think? <laughs> she wouldn't tell me what happened. So I'm asking you. That's between me and my old lady. <laughs> you don't get off that easy. You beat the shit out of my mother. You want to pull off this exit strategy of yours? You better stop focusing on my domestic life and start focusing on the issue at hand. I spoke to Romeo. He's got intel on the Lobos. They find the guys who jumped out. I'm not sure, but I need your head in this game on all fronts. He's really good at changing the subject. Honestly. Like, oh, I'm focused. And this ain't finished. Oh, 
Kings don't want anyone touching these till they get out here. Understood. We got a long range sniper rifle, 50 caliber machine gun. Damn, dude. Holy hell. Damn. Only seen guns like this in my war games. Call of Duty shit. <laughs> oh, it's like literally he's talking about the game. Literally. Of course, Juice plays Call of Duty. <laughs> I'm more of a Tarkov fan personally. Oh, shit. What happened? I smashed her cast. We're gonna have to take her back into surgery. Some chick came with flowers. Tara said it was cool. What chick? She just said she was family. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Dude, this Did show. Did Tara smash her cast to blame it on Wendy so that this Wendy would be gone? Oh my stuff. god. They gave us the intel on the remaining Lobos. We'll get the other guy. I want to be there. Fair enough. Oh my god. Going after these Lobos is about Tara. It's my shit. I'm gonna handle it. This ain't just about Tara, brother. This cartel runs turned into one bloody riot. Nobody saw it coming, including me. Oh, Bobby just rolled some eyes. I say we close this door and get back to business as usual. And not letting you go in to do this alone. Me either. I'm in. Yeah, me too. All right, let's do it. Yep, I'm there. <laughs> of course you are happy. We know that already. Yeah, I'm in. Uh oh. Opie knows. Opie knows. Opie knows. He's not right. He is not right. He knows something. He doesn't normally answer like that. Hale's investors came together. Asian money. When it goes back to city council next week, Jarman Heights is a go. Shit. Hale called this morning. He's getting his ducks in a row. Let me guess, you're one of his ducks. It's the only way I come close to getting even, Clay. As if they don't have enough to worry about, there's another thing. George, shit all over his promise. Maybe it's time you go remind him, huh? We got the Mexicans covered. Georgie might be in the wind. Track down Lila, see if she can help. He doesn't know. Maybe not? Yeah, I think that was just Opie okay. being Opie. I, maybe, because I totally thought that he... Like, he, he didn't looked... have an emotional look in his eyes. Yeah, right? Okay. Yeah. But uh -oh. maybe just the whole Tara situation is... Making him emotional. Trust you were able to confirm Georgie Crusoe's alive. Talking. Oh shit. Answer my questions, and if I think you're lying, conversation ends. Who are you? I'm Lincoln Potter, federal prosecutor, assistant U.S. attorney, Northern California District. And what do you want from me? I'm building a case against the real IRA and the Galindo cartel. Sons of Anarchy is my way in. Rico. Yes. <sighs> And you need Bobby Munson to establish history. That's correct. Your brothers have clearly Stop blasphemed. Talking. <laughs> oh shit. I love Otto. This is what I want. You should write this shit down. <laughs> oh goddamn. When Otto speaks, you listen and you do what the fuck he says. I got money sends. in three bank accounts. It's not a lot. I want it to go to Luann's sister. I want to see an eye doctor. Get some new glasses so I can read better. I want Lenny Janowitz to, to get some privileges back, like visitation or yard. That might prove difficult. This isn't a negotiation. Shit. And I want you to move up my execution date. I'll waive my appeals. I want to go as soon as I can. He wants to be with Lillian. Write it down. I don't think he wants to feel the pain. Like, pain of following through with all this. I gotta be the one that tells Bobby I gave him up. Me, face to face. Holy shit. They're gonna kill homeboy. You're gonna speak. So that's gonna change things, I feel like. I'll need you to document Robert Munson's involvement in selling guns. I'll give you a dozen crimes. Him, Clay, whoever the hell you want. Fair enough. I'll also need to put you in protective custody. Fine with me. Better food. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, poor Otto. You don't get shit until I see those all in writing. They're gonna kill Caruso. 
He's going to have a face-to-face with Bobby. He's going to tell him, like, the truth about how things played out. Otto's going to back out of this deal. You think? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. You didn't even go in the trailers. There could be somebody in the bathroom. ¿Dónde están los otros hombres? En el bosque. En el bosque y otros campos. This is the first line. Main camp is in the woods. <gasps> oh my god. Is this a trap? I feel like it is. Jax could like potentially like come up behind Clay and just be like Shit. Stop! Oh shit! Oh, you got to shit me! Oh no, Kozak! Oh no! Oh, oh my god, I really liked him! Holy shit! I'm ordering a pizza, big Irish pizza. Oh my! Oh my! Oh my! I know you're pissed. Yeah. We gotta talk about this shit. There's nothing else to say. I don't blame you for leaving. I never thought it would really work anyways. Ouch. Yeah, that, that hurts. Then why did you marry me? I was looking for something, I guess. That's really shit. I wanted it to work. I really did. Nothing's gonna work. Not until she's dead. Sorry, brother. Hey. Come on, I'll let it go. Come on. <sighs> shit, dude. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> um. Here to see me? No. We're gonna get some tasteful shots of our genitals. <laughs> <laughs> we faked interest, like you said, but I didn't tell anyone to go forward. No. Somebody did. You're gonna fix it before that money hits Hale's account. I'll dig into it as soon as I'm done here. You're done. Yeah. What is happening right now? You're right. <laughs> Terrified. <laughs> but I'm totally erect. Fucking <laughs> dick, <laughs> dude! Oh my god, stop! <laughs> it's a little too real for him. <laughs> oh my god, dude. You know, using these bad boys is really going to piss off the Irish. At this point, bro, it's a risk I'm willing to take. Good. Because I can't wait to bloody show these greasy bastards. They got the firepower. You'll flush them out. Scare the whole shit. Dude, I feel really bad for Gosak. Oh my god. He fucking blew up. He did. At least that's a quick, painless death. Uh, fucking Jack's got a fucking RPG, bro. Damn. <laughs> what the hell? These fucking guys. Oh, shoot, there's another one. Fucking. It is literal war here. That's one way to take out an entire gang. Shit. I got it. What are you doing? Jax! Jax! Hey! Clear. Oh my god. Shit! Those guys met with Hale two more times behind my back. Not Suki family, it's all in. I swear I had no idea. They're scumbags. I mean, who else gets in business with me? And then jumping on some suburban land. All right, time for Bobby to just take you out, fix things with Otto. Clean, quiet place to funnel their dirty money. That makes make sense to me. Well, I didn't know. Listen, let me talk to Clay so I can fix this. There's only one way I'm not going to kill you. You're going to tell me the truth about Luann. I don't know anything. You know nothing? Over. I'm saying the truth. I'm saying the truth that you can't kill me. You guys live by your word and shit, right? You got to honor this. All right. I promise. Take no promise, though. I sent a few guys up there to rough her up. That's it. Just to scare her. To get her to let loose some of her girls. She fought back. It got out of control. Those guys were never supposed to kill her. I swear to God, I would never do that. 
Get Kozik's cut, give it to Lee. He was on his way back to Tacoma. Kozik have any family? Brother. Call his brother. We'll have a memorial after we finish this thing with the Irish. He almost made it out. <sighs> yeah, talk to Juice, would you? The shit today was crazy. He is making me very nervous. Where's that music coming from? The garage. They're working. <laughs> what are you doing here? Just returning some tools. Where is she? I know she called you. Prospect saw your truck at my house last night. Yeah, she called. It's a natural reaction to reach out to a friend when someone tries to kill you. Oh, shit. Man, you must love this shit. Swoop in. Rescue her. Dream come true. Oh my god, you're sick. My wife, my club, not your concern. Keep your secrets, I'll keep mine, right? I know you killed Piney. I know you tried to kill Tara. My telling Jax what I know only hurts him. But I'm warning you, Clay. And by whatever shit God I still believe in, be witness to this. He's dead. Oh my god. You ever hurt Gemma again, I'll kill you. I guess cancer gives a man a certain resolve. Oh. Benefit of an end date. Oh my god! Nothing more dangerous than the guy already knows he's dead. Then I guess you could say the same thing about yourself, Clay? Because you've got to be, like, ready to die at this point. I'm still blown away that people talk to Clay that way. Like, just threatening him and revealing information. Hey, are you the guy who called? Yes, Chucky. I'm the Manny. Oh, my son here? Yeah, Tara said it's okay. You could see Abel. He's in the back bedroom. Thanks. Gemma. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Why am I not surprised? Oh, my God. Boys are at my house. The room looks great. She's a real good mom. I can tell. Should I even ask what happened to you? Nah, I'm the one doing the asking. Oh, shit, I'm the one who knocks, bitch. Shit. I am clean and sober for over two years. I am now a certified substance abuse counselor. I have a two-bedroom outside of Altamont. I have a French bulldog named Ramon. I had my tubes tied, and I recently decided that I like women. Huh. What's new with you? Absolutely nothing. <laughs> Gemma, I did not come here to stir shit up. Feels like you did. Abel's my son. I gave up the right to raise him, but I did not give up the right to know him. Yeah. I get that. I kind of figured you'd resurface at some point. Or turn up dead. Oh, shit, dude. Honestly, I was hoping for the latter. Okay. Damn. I'm sorry to disappoint you. I'll help you to get to know your son. But it's by my rules, on my schedule. Uh, you gonna talk to Jax about this? If you try to box me out, Gemma, I swear to God, I'll get a lawyer and make this shit loud and messy. There's that junky whore I remember. Holy shit! Oh if you thought I was dangerous, loaded, wait till you see me sober, baby. This is gonna be a problem. Yeah, this is a problem. I don't see Gemma just playing ball. Mm-mm. Be like, oh yeah, sure, here, come see your kid. Uh-oh, bathroom meeting. What the hell was that, did he? Was I not attempt to swing from a tree? You told me you were okay. I am. I was just trying to make sure that they were Kozik, man. Shit. This is tough, man. The sheriff found out some shit when he was digging into our profile, and he's threatening me with it. He says he'll tell the club unless I start giving him intel. Tell the club what? My dad, he's black. So? The rules, he tells the club I'm out. What does your paperwork say? Your birth certificate. Under race. Which box is checked? It's Hispanic. Hispanic? And that's what you are. Half of us don't know who the hell her fathers are. We love chips. This is why you tried offing yourself. <laughs> Jesus Christ, boy. <laughs> yeah, just a couple things 
Aw, Juice. You tell that sheriff next time you see him, he can go and suck your daddy's big black cop. Chips. <laughs> oh, I fucking love chips. It's time to heal this. You understand? I'm more juicy. Okay. Chips like genuinely cares about all these guys. It's so like lovely. And the most like, you know, doing bad shit. A couple of guys hugging in a buff. And... <laughs> Stop it. It's me. Checking in. <sighs> shit. Did he go fast? Yeah, it's dead before he felt it. Everyone else whole? Yeah. Lobos are finished. Cartel feud is squashed. Oswald was right. The Asians, they're on board with Charming Heights. Georgie can't stop it. And he's dead in the back of a trunk. And now he's doing exactly what Tig says he does. He goes in there and locks them all out. You should go see Otto tomorrow. Get the poor guy some closure. Yeah. Dude, the look on Bobby's face, dude. Honestly. I don't see the stuff about Lenny. That would take a few more phone calls. And you know I could make that happen this fast. Everything else you wanted is there. Yeah, it is. So sign it. Is this meeting with Bobby not gonna happen fast enough? I'm worried about that. Now it's your turn. Officer Don will gladly transcribe everything and anything you'd like to share. I'll tell the stories, but I'm not signing off on any transcripts until Lenny gets his privileges. If you're turning over the rest of your club, why the concern for Mr. Janowitz? You wouldn't get it. Does he want him to get killed in the yard? I wish that wasn't true. Between the stuff with Juice and hopefully the stuff with Bobby, I feel like they could get Potter's whole case in a total just yeah. mess. Go see your dad, bro. How's Kara? I don't know. I did that now. She freaked out at me yesterday. It's crazy shit, man. It's all coming to a head. Mm, sorry. She talked to Lila. It ain't gonna happen. I'm sorry. Why? Because I want you to be happy. Oh, is that what you are? Look, if you got something to say, just say it. When Donna wanted me out, I didn't stay because of what you said. I stayed because I knew that trying to be anything else would be a lie. And that's the worst thing a guy can do to his family. I didn't plan this up. It just played out this way. I'm sorry. I never meant to lie to you. And I'm sorry I believed you. Oh, shit. Yeah, he's mad about the whole him getting out. A little late for a pickup. Let's pick up Piney. Got a feeling he's in no condition to ride. Oh, shit. Probably not. Oh, shit. I just got a whole shit ton of anxiety yeah. of Opie leaving to go get his dad. You see Tara? She had a bad day, Jax. I don't know what happened, but she smashed up her hand. Why you gotta lie? Self-inflicted. They reset her hand and got her sedated. Okay, I love you. I don't know what happened. Yeah. Uh-oh. 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 This was Clay. Not now, Tiggy. Oh, shit. Like he knew that he he and that Clay and her were fighting, but like he didn't know no that that's what her face looked like. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh god. What? Oh my god. Oh shit. <gasps> oh my god. <gasps> You're right. This ain't the way it works. Oh my god. Wow. That made me like really emotional just now. I didn't know what he was handing him at first. I saw the, the rip on his... Dude, this shit is spiraling. So out of control. 
She's all fucking strapped down. Damn it, dude. This sucks. She's got to get out of here. She's got to keep it together long enough to get to fucking Oregon. Uh-oh. He's all alone. Like, he's literally on an island all by himself. He did to himself, too. Yeah, and I feel like he's just going to keep leaning into that. Whoa, is oh, he crying? The fuck? Bob. Oh, no. Oh, no. oh Obi. God. Pop. <coughs> Dad? Dad? Oh, shit. Oh, Pop. Go. Oh, what the oh, hell are you oh, doing? Oh, easy, Obi, oh, easy. You knew about this? What? Yes. Who did it? Why didn't you tell me? That's why I'm here now. Play killed your own. <gasps> oh, shit! What? Clay killed him. Piney had some kind of leverage on Clay. Clay came up here to change his mind. Things went south. Oh, shit! Gemma found out. She asked me to come up here and fix the scene. Make it look like the cartel. Oh, everybody's going down? But he just... But he just gave up Clay and Gemma. Is he done with Gemma too now, then, Unser? Why are you telling me this? Gemma confronted Clay about Piney. Okay, here we go. He almost killed her. Beat her bloody. Clay's out of control. Yeah, You're no stranger to that. He tried to kill you and killed your wife. Now, he killed your father, too. Go see Gemma's face. Ask her who did it. Oh, my God. I have just got chills. Clay's got the go, son, before he kills someone else you love. Dude, holy shit. Dude, this show. I want to watch another one I say it right now. Every freaking time. This show continues to turn it up every single episode. I don't remember blinking. My eyes are burning right now because I don't remember blinking. The amount of stuff that they manage to cram into episode to episode and into like these seasonal storylines like the fact that stuff wasn't bad enough as it is they manage a way to like oh hey by the way remember wendy here's her and here she is to cause a little more chaos because as if there wasn't enough going on let's add the mom of abel to the whole storyline where tara is obviously going to be defensive especially under these circumstances and very protective of her family I, oh, I, 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 there was a lot of emotion in this episode. Oh God, poor Obi. There was a lot of anxiety building in this episode. I just I check that heart rate 96. Uh, <laughs> Shit. I mean, wow. if, I don't even know where to begin with discussing that episode because so much stuff went down. For sure, gonna forget something because, again, so much shit happened. I mean, the fact that, like, we mentioned it, the moment Piney was killed, we talked about Clay now being responsible for Opie's wife and now father's death. Yeah. Literally, the, like, not only is he responsible for her death and Piney's death, but the plan was to have Opie killed. So it's like Clay tried to have Opie killed, had Donna killed, and now has killed Piney. Like, this... This shit is like the look in his face at the end there. Oh shit. He's gonna go straight back to the club and probably try to kill Clay, I would imagine. That's what I'm expecting. Cause You don't I, sleep on that. No, I was <laughs> gonna say like Opie's not gonna wait around for to tell anybody else. No. I I feel like. I feel no. like he's just gonna go finish it. Like with the way him and Jax are going through some shit. 
and now him finding out that like Piney's dead, yeah, he's not gonna like go home. He's not gonna let this digest. He's not gonna think on it. He's not gonna sleep on it. He is 100% getting back in that truck, going back to the cl unless. Like, but again, like Unser's even like he's gotta go, son. Like he's gotta go kill him now. And with everything that's going on with Gemma. I think they know that he's been staying at the club. I don't know. Maybe they don't know that. But, I mean, I just don't see Opie doing anything besides getting back in that truck and driving back to the club and trying to kill Clay. I don't see anything else happening. There's, I, I just don't... I wish we had more hours in the day so oh that we could God. watch another one. I, like, don't want to stop watching this show. No. It has gotten to the point where it's all I want to watch mm -hmm. because of how good they build these stories and, I mean, just something as crazy as them getting into another gun shootout. And Kozik fucking gets exploded. Like, what the fuck? The dude awful. just comes back from making this, like... I, he, he, he did his job. He did a full-ass episode. No. He came back, did his job, brought, brought back all those crazy-ass weapons. And these motherfuckers had a minefield set up. Like... Uh, like, trying to think, like, positively about it, at least it was quick for him. He didn't have to, like, go through anything, like, horrible. But this this dude shows back up and then just steps on a fucking mine and... Like that's how you get rid of a character? So Sucks. insane. So insane. And just the way that impacted Juice and, like, Juice going down this fucking storyline. And Chibs. And, oh, oh my God. That was such a... That was so sweet. That was an incredible moment. And I... I got the vibe from the moment that Chibs was the one to kind of find out what's going on with Juice, that he was the best one. He was the most experienced under these circumstances to deal with this situation. And the fact that he revealed the whole his dad is black thing, the way he laid it out was like, it was heartbreaking, but it was also so heartwarming because it was his way of embracing and kind of bringing Juice in. The whole idea is like, Dude, hardly any of us know who our fathers were. Like, that's sad. Like, that's a really sad thought. But the way he told Juice in that moment was like, like, bring it in, son. Like, I'll be your dad kind of thing. Like, I'll support you. Yeah. And basically, like, kind of like we thought. Like, they don't, they're don't. they not going to give a fuck about that. But again, at the time, Juice was in such a position of vulnerability yeah. that it scared the shit out of him. Because the rules are the rules. He doesn't want to be rules. kicked out of his other family. Right. And the fact that Chibs was quick enough to be like, dude, what 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 box is checked on your birth certificate? Hispanic? That's all that matters. The, the, that, that's what matters. I mean, and, uh, you know, you get it. I, I don't think it should matter at all. No, but I, this, their rules clearly state whatever the fuck. And that I still sucks, don't. But also. I, even, I, I still don't believe under these circumstances that this club would boot him Give for that. Shit. I don't. I just don't like. I would be really like they've done a lot of really bad shit. Yeah. But I don't feel like these guys outside of Clay. I don't feel like they're bad people. Like they do bad shit. They say a lot but, of like, bad stuff. I I I feel like that they would still embrace Juice and keep him around and keep him in the club under those circumstances. I mean, you never know. But that's just my hope is that they would be cool with it and it'd be like. They act like chips like, did. Like, matter. who cares? It doesn't like, matter. So what? Yeah. I, it's just that whole storyline now, I wonder. It, I feel like it's going to unravel a little bit for Potter because maybe that conversation with Chibs gives Juice the confidence to tell him, fuck off, I'm out. I'm not giving you what you want. God, I hope so. But he still answered the phone. Yeah. I. But I think that's his way of keeping it going to the point where he's not going to get in trouble. Okay. I think. But on the other end of that storyline, you have the whole auto situation. And now that porn dude is dead, I'm wondering if this conversation, because the whole Lenny thing, like the fact that that's going to take some time, I think that's going to give them the buffer zone for Bobby to get, get in, in there, there and tell him like what's going on. Because that was part of the deal. Otto wanted to tell Bobby to his face that I was the one who ratted. So, until he signs the transcripts, like, it doesn't matter because it's... No, because he did the same thing with Stahl. Right. So, I'm hoping that this whole thing with Potter just crumbles 
because he loses all of his angles. I hope so. I feel like that's, and fingers crossed, that's, that's how they defeat that. But it was really interesting how Potter kind of threw that one little line in there where Otto, like, he asked him about, like, why do you want him free? Like, why do you want all this stuff for him considering what you're doing to the club? And Otto's like, you wouldn't understand. And Potter's response was like, unfortunately, I do. So, I mean, I think it's clear, like, the jacket, he rides. I wonder what kind of past this dude has. I wonder if he has, if something went down, was he, like, part of an MC somewhere? Things went down to a certain way and bad stuff went down and that led him down the road that he's on now Maybe. in terms of being the DA or whatever his stupid role is. This guy is terrible. But, like, I wonder if he had something bad go down, kind of like Tara's manager. Mm -hmm. Where there's like a history that we don't know about. It's gonna be just a giant back tap. I'm probably like I was expect. That's what I was expecting. <laughs> I was expecting him to like pull a shirt up or something like, oh, in the no. reveal. But yeah, like there's definitely more to this dude's story and why he's so, so gung ho after getting like the real IRA and the sons and yeah, I don't know. I thought that was a pretty interesting line considering all the shit that went down this episode. Yeah, it's something that you could easily miss because again, this episode. And these last handful of episodes, as we're winding down to the end of the season, it has been absolutely insane. The way Clay is acting is just like, he's basically like shutting everyone out. Literally. And then he cried. I mean, I think seeing Gemma, watching Tig walk away, turning in his patch. Like and, everybody close to you is turning their back on you because yeah. you're a piece of shit. Yeah, and... He has literally lost and severed every relationship to this point, I feel like. Yeah. there. I don't think there's anyone close to him. No one I don't wants think, anything to do with you. Yeah. I mean, even when he's talking, like you see, like you mentioned during the episode, like Bobby's back there like rolling his eyes and just talking all this shit. And like the guys aren't there to support him anymore. Mm -mm. And that hit really hard. That was another one of those moments that hit really hard. When Tig had that conversation with him earlier in the episode. Yeah. He's like, dude, you like you go in the meeting room, you close the door, you shut all this out. And like Clay's response was just basically like, shut the fuck up, get in line, and just do what I say. And when he saw when he saw Gemma, because you know those two have a very tight relationship, they are very close. When he saw Gemma, he immediately knew what went down. And the fact that he went and like took his patch off his jacket and went and just turned it into Clay. Holy shit. That was such an emotional, just gut punch of a moment. You have nobody left. Nobody. Like, the fact that Tig, who is his right hand, like, he's the, what, what is it, the sergeant of arms? Mm -hmm. Like, him in that role, having your back and protecting you the way that he has, for him to do that, I think that, I think he that He steps in front of the things that try to kill you. Yeah. And now he's, he's got... Between them. Not and... Anymore. And... Where is that protection going to be when that Opie shows up? symbolic. Right there. He no longer is going to stand in the way of things that are trying to kill you standing between him and Gemma. Gemma's going to fucking kill you, dude. Like, uh, I just... Ooh, symbolism. <laughs> it's, almost, it's almost one of these things now where it's like, who is going to get this? Like, if Clay doesn't die this season... I'll be I, shocked. I'm, I'll be literally blown away. And probably a little disappointed because if Clay doesn't die, that means someone else did. Mm -hmm. And he got the upper hand somehow. Ugh. But it, the the list of like the betting odds for who gets to kill Clay at this point are... It, I feel like it's a crapshoot. Gemma, Tig, Bobby, Opie, Jax. The list goes on. Friggin' cartel. Is Romeo gonna be like, I'm fucking done with this bullshit. Like, <laughs> you're dead to me too. Right. Like, I, there's so many people now where it would make a ton of sense. Unser, if any one of those people killed him, it would feel like a satisfying death because he's done wrong to so many people at this point. Yes. Yeah. He has ruined the club. This cartel thing has sent this club into such a negative, horrible spiral. And it sucks so much coming off of a season where they were all so tight and they were all doing something together and they all had one mission all on the same page working together to help get Abel back. And now we're here and the fact that the exit strategy, the greed of retirement and having money to just walk away just consumed him. And like Jax is, Jax is partially to blame too for this. 
because he wanted the exit strategy as well. And he saw like the big payday and he was like, we could get out. Yeah. And he even said it this, like he didn't know. He said it multiple times now. He is way in over his head in terms of what the expectation was in getting in bed with the cartel. Yeah. And I mean, if he... Well, I mean, Clay kind of downplayed the I mean, the deal, I guess. They didn't know. Like, you don't know what... Again, they didn't watch Ozark. They didn't watch Breaking Bad. They don't fucking know what this shit is. And you don't know who you're fucking with. On the surface, <laughs> it sounds like a great idea. And then you realize, like, a weekend, like, oh, people are dying and drive-bys are happening. I don't know. Heads are showing up to our fucking doorsteps. Pets' heads are falling off. Like, wait, this is what we signed up for? Like, oh, shit, it kind of is. Damn it. And I just feel like, at the beginning, if Jax was Jax... Jax was never on board with anything Clay ever did. Mm -mm. And the fact that he was for this one is what put it over the top. So, I, I, I don't know if I missed anything. But oh, I'm sure we did. I'm sure. There's just so much going on and so much of it is surrounding Clay and this John Teller situation. And now Opie and just, ugh, there's so much. And Jax still doesn't even know all the truth. About everything. No. And I just the way Unser like laid it all out there to Opie went in in that moment, just so painful, so devastating. I thought he threw um Gemma under the bus, but he kinda covered it. I like, mean the whole like look at her face. He started like if he cut it at like the first thing that he said to him, then yeah, he would have totally. Mm -hmm. But when he followed up with like, Oh, she tried to like stop him and it like led to this and that and that's why she got beat up and stuff. Like, I think he protected Gemma. I think his sole focus is on Clay. I mean... Clay he, has done a lot. He probably feels a mat... Like, between Jax and now finding out that with Clay and then even, like, the fact that Gemma knew about it, his level of betrayal is probably through the roof right now in terms of... The, he probably wants to take the patch off, too, and bounce. Oh, yeah. Like, I mean, at this point, it's just one of those things where, I mean... The stuff that has gone down and the impact that it's had on him and his family is just so insane. So, yeah, I, I just can't wait to see what the hell's going to happen next. Yes. And, like, I mean, I would be literally blown away if Opie did anything but go straight to the club looking for Clay. Unless he's got a strategy. I mean, Unless he's got a strategy. I, I don't think he's clear minded enough to come up with a strategy. No. Because no. all the emotion that's going through him is not just Piney related, but it's Jack's related, it's Donna related, it's everything about just everything that's happened to him just boiling over right now. And I, I think he's one hundred percent just going to go straight there with no plan and just try to kill him. I'm worried that he might get hurt too, but because Clay's going to be on edge, I feel like he's going to be prepared for something. But <laughs> his little teardrop, like, oh, oh poor Clay. And oh, with that, poor Clay. <laughs> yeah, you guys leave all your comments. What the fuck? This is so insane. I, I never thought a show about an MC would get to this level. Like, holy shit. Like, the way the story has just unraveled and the way it just weaves all these storylines together. And they can just very smoothly drop in Wendy. Boom, here she is. She's oh back. Like, the way they do that is just all so seamless and so good. And it's it's. Quickly, quickly shooting up the ranks of favorite shows. Yes. Because it is incredible. So, yeah, you guys leave all your thoughts. We'll talk to you later if we can make it to the next episode. Holy shit. Bye, everyone. <laughs>